Hey guys, today we're going to go over how to paint with an airless sprayer. Airless sprayers pump out paint under high pressure, essentially making them like a pressure washer but with paint in it. They are great for uneven surfaces that a traditional paint roller might not be able to reach, like this brick wall behind me. The first thing you need to do is clean off any dirt and cobwebs that you may have. If you have a large outdoor area, it might be best for you to get a pressure washer and wash down the area first, giving it ample time to dry, then you need to tape off any areas that you don't want paint on. We've already taped off our areas and primed our wall, and now we're ready to paint it red. When you're painting outside, check the recommended temperatures for painting on the paint tin. You don't want it to be too hot, too cold or windy, otherwise you could end up having paint blow on the neighbour's car. Once your area is clean, you're ready to prime the machine for operation. You need to make sure you are using fresh paint that is well mixed and ready to go. If you're using old paint, it can sometimes have a skin on it or lumps in the paint which can block up the spray nozzle. Our airless sprayers are for water-based paint only. Talk to our team at your local branch if you are using a different type of paint. This is your intake hose and this is your return hose. Both of these go into the paint. The intake hose sucks up the paint through the pump, through the paint line and out through the spray nozzle. Your return hose gets all the excess paint from the pump back into the paint tin to ensure that there's no waste. So before priming and using the airless sprayer, we're going to put our gloves and our safety glasses on. In order to prime the machine, you need to make sure that your return valve and your intake valve are both turned to the left. That makes them open. You turn the machine on. You turn your return valve slowly to the right. That primes the hose. Then you slowly turn the pressure valve to the right. Whenever you're not using the machine, make sure that the nozzle is locked. In order to do this, you need to push the nozzle forward and click the lock. The main safety issue with the airless sprayer is accidentally injecting yourself with paint. The paint comes out at an extremely high pressure, so always make sure that you point the nozzle away from yourself and others and make sure that the trigger is locked in safety when not in use. Now you're ready to test the sprayer to make sure that you have the correct pressure. If the pressure is too low, you will get what's called tracking, which is the heavy top and bottom line. If the pressure is too high, you will get drips down the wall. Now that we're ready to spray, it's time to put on our dust mask. If you have corners that need spraying, start painting those first before the rest of your area. Use a piece of core flute or cardboard and have it up against the wall that you don't want to paint. To spray the bulk of your project, hold the spray nozzle about 30 centimetres from the surface, begin to move your arms, then pull the trigger to spray and use a smooth, steady action. Move at a consistent pace to evenly coat the surface. Slightly overlap each run to guarantee that the entire area is covered. If you're painting textured surfaces or fence posts, you may need to do a few coats of paint at different angles so that the entire surface is covered. If you're painting indoors, you can use additional equipment such as fans or heaters to speed up the drying process. This is especially handy when it's cold or humid. Now that we've finished spraying, we need to flush the system with water to clean the airless sprayer. This is a similar process to priming the machine, except we're just gonna do it with water. You can retrieve a significant amount of paint from the airless sprayer by simply removing the suction hose and placing it in a bucket and running the airless sprayer with the return hose. So keeping the return hose in the paint tin, you turn the airless sprayer back on. Waiting for all the paint to return back into the paint tin. Once there is no more paint coming through the return hose, that means that the pump is now clear. For the next step, you need a bucket of clean water and an empty bucket. Your suction hose is gonna go into the bucket of clean water and your return hose is gonna go in the bucket. Now you're gonna run through the priming process again until the water coming out of the return hose is clear. You turn the machine on. When you see water coming through the hose, direct the flow into a bucket to catch the waste. Allow clean water to run through the pump and hose until it's clear. Now that your pump is essentially clean, you now need to clean out the paint line. You need to decompress the gun first to make sure that there's no pressure built up inside. 
then you need to unscrew the gun from the hose. You can put the gun into a bucket of water and gently clean the tip and filter. Turn the machine off, refit the gun, turn the machine back on and spray water through it to clear any paint from the gun. So there you have it, a brief look at painting with an airless sprayer. Remember, the team at your local branch can help answer any questions that you may have about your particular project. For more information, visit our Get Inspired page or give us a call. While operating machinery, we recommend using the necessary safety gear, all of which Kenan's Hire branch has in stock. Follow all safety instructions Kenan's Hire staff gives you and always refer to the operator's instructions for operating. Instructions are available on the Kenan's Hire website or simply ask at the branch. Special thanks to Dulux for their advice and support during this project. Can I make your job easy?